Welcome everybody to today's workshop. Thank you all for making the time. We're very excited to have you here with us. I'm Roshni Sharma and I am the wisdom, uh, I am the communications lead for the community, for the volunteer community surveyor program run by the FIG Young Surveyors Network. In the spirit of reconciliation, the FIG VCSP acknowledges the traditional custodians of country throughout the lands on which we meet today globally and their connections to land, sea and community. We pay our respect to their elders, past, present and emerging. I'll introduce today's speakers shortly, but first a couple of house housekeeping matters. I'd ask you all to please keep yourself on mute. We welcome questions today and ask that you type your question into the chat box in Zoom. Please be aware that our team will be monitoring the chat for questions, which we will ask our speakers at the end of their presentation. If there is not enough time for speakers to answer all questions, the list of questions will be emailed through to the speaker and they'll provide written responses. If you have any technical issues or other issues, please also let us know in the Zoom chat or by email at fig.youngsurveyors at gmail.com. A reminder to everybody that if you've registered for today's and tomorrow's workshop, you'll receive a link to the recording after the workshop is complete. And also a reminder that you'll have three days after the workshop is complete to finish both of the MOOCs in order to be able to receive your certificate of completion. Lastly, I'd like to welcome you all wholeheartedly and ask that you please keep your microphone on mute and please uh, turn off your video if possible, except for the sessions where there will be interaction, where we wholeheartedly welcome you to turn on your camera and unmute yourselves and interact with other participants. At certain points within today's proceedings, we will be using a, a software for interactivity called Mentimeter. The instructions for this will be provided by the moderators and the presenters at this time. And we encourage you to have your mobile phone ready or your computer ready to be able to use these. Feel free to message each other through the chat throughout the proceedings. Welcome. And without further ado, I hand over to FIG President, Professor Dr. Rudolf Steiger, who will welcome us. And then to Israel Tyro, the VCSP Wisdom Workshop lead to introduce us to today. Over to you, Rudolf. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rosny. Good morning to Africa and to Europe. Good evening and good afternoon to Asia Pacific. And I don't want to say good night to America, but I know it's very, very late in, in New Zealand and in the US. I'm, I'm very pleased to be here and I'm very pleased to have the occasion to say a few words at the opening of this wisdom workshop of the volunteer community survey program. Okay. As already introduced, my name is Rudolf Steiger. I'm the president. Apologies, Rudolf. Apologies. Now you can hear me? Does it work now? Yes, yes, thank okay. you. Yes. Should I start from the beginning or no? I think this happened just uh, some seconds ago. Uh, no, you're fine to keep going. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So my name is Rudolf Steig. I'm the president of FIG since two years time and I have another two years uh, to act as president. In my daily life, I'm teaching surveying engineering in Germany, more precisely at the University of Applied Sciences in Bochum. The motto of my presidency is volunteering for the future. And this coincides by 100% with the idea of this volunteering community survey program. Why is volunteering in general so important? My observation over the last 10, 20, 30 years is that our societies in global perspective, they became more and more individual and independent. But we need for the challenges we are facing right now, we need community and we need collaboration and we need values. 
Therefore, it is important to do and to contribute to programs as you do here. The targets and goals are very ambitious, but this is good. And uh, we as FIG, we support this by 100%. When I started surveying engineering many years ago, a surveyor, he worked more in the shadow. He worked for land administration, for cadaster, mapping agencies, but he was not really visible for the broad society and broad audience. But this has changed over the last 20 years very much. Today, society knows geo-related data Geo-related data is very important for the infrastructure and we and our profession is important for the well-being and for the progress in all our societies. So we are no longer in the shadows. We have to contribute and we should contribute, for example, to the SDGs. And one of our major fields of contribution is land registration. Land registration worldwide will improve peace, will improve social stability, and is for the well-being of all members of all states of all nations very good. So it makes sense to contribute. And I'm pretty sure if you volunteer here in this program, you volunteer at the same time for our profession and you volunteer for your society. And this is good. I wish you all a very interesting workshop, inspiring talks, good new contacts. And if we want to find positive aspects in this horrible challenge of COVID-19, one positive aspect is we can meet in this format very easily. We don't have to travel. We can finish our work and 10 minutes later we are part of the meeting we can discuss we can work together and then afterwards we can continue our work without traveling without doing pollution and all these kind of things of course it would be better to meet without covid 19 but we have to take the things as they are and in hope there will be very soon a time after covid 19. again i wish you a successful workshop I would like to thank all the organizers from the Wisdom team for their work, for their preparation. And I wish you all the success you want to have. Thank you. Bye bye and all the best. Thank you very much, Rudolf. I'd now like to welcome Israel Tyrell who is the Wisdom Workshop Lead for the Volunteer Community Surveyor Program. Welcome, Israel. Thank you very much, Tarof. I'm happy to be in this place this morning, and I am happy to be welcoming everybody from all over the world to attend this workshop with us. Uh, it's interesting to see how uh, spread around that we've had participants join this workshop. And I want to as well appreciate everybody who has uh, made this workshop a success. I want to say thank you to our partners, thank you to our facilitators, and of course, thank you to you, our uh, participants who have joined this workshop from different parts of the world. I'm going to be doing a short presentation, and during that presentation, I would like us to as well uh, have a a Mentimeter action which we are going to be taking during this my very short presentation. The goal of my presentation is just to welcome us and then to keep us starting with this workshop uh, the way we so desire to have it, which is to make sure that the workshop is lively and that we can interact throughout all sessions of the workshop. Okay. Uh, Please, I would like someone to help me confirm if you can see my slides. Not yet, Israel. I'll check. Not yet. Okay. I hope you can see the slides now.
Yes. Yeah. Okay. I would like to mention as well that because of my internet connectivity from part of the country I'm joining this workshop, I would like to just turn off my video so that you can have uh, you can hear me better than uh, this. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. The like Ahelia mentioned, I am Israel Tayo, and I work as a lecturer in the Federal Polytechnic at UAPT. And uh, while I am doing this presentation, I would like that we jump on the multimeter that has been given to us, the link to the multimeter that has been shared with us, and then we enter these codes 42449092 to uh, engage the ice breaking activity that we should use to start this meeting. My intention is that we are going to be creating uh, a welcome message like this in different languages of the world. And after this session, I would like to have that from you. I would like to hear how you say welcome in your language. Thank you very much. So quickly, I'm going to run through three things, three specific things for this workshop. The first is uh, to give us the workshop session outlines. Second is to share a few net clicks with us that would help us be able to participate in this workshop. And then the last thing is to tell us a few things that you must do for us to complete this workshop successfully. Okay, this is a workshop tab sustainable solutions for land-based community problems, tools and modern approaches, organized by the uh, VCSP Wisdom Workshop team and the, the VCSP of the FID Young Soviets. Uh, after the presentation by uh, the FID President Rudolph, I think I am already ha very, very happy for the success that we are bound to achieve before the end of this workshop. Well, and I would like to mention that today, which is the day one of the workshop, we're going to be dealing with community problems, land tenure, and tools for land management. And I know that tomorrow, a lot of us will be excited as well to build our capacities and, uh, and, uh, and learn about how to implement modern land management approaches. So, uh, Generally, these are the goals of this workshop, and I would like to reflect on the MOOC that we had already participated in and that some of us are still currently participating in. And uh, currently, our goals include that we should ensure that we can all learn from the VCSP goals and then uh, even how to improve them. Secondly, I would like that we understand what open technologies are and then humanitarian skill sets. Thirdly, it would be important for us to network with professionals who are doing almost the same thing as we're doing in this uh, workshop. Then fourthly, it would be nice that we have been able to learn how to achieve deliverables of uh, various partners who are involved in land, man land management and administration projects across the world. Then uh, second to the last, it would be nice that we can evaluate how tenure security challenges affect communities around us. And then lastly, uh, it would be nice that we can learn uh, how to document our experiences while volunteering because so many is being done actually, but then we need to be able to make a good uh, noise or send a message across the world on how the VCSP or how any other initiative you are involved in is helping to meet the goals of the SDGs. Thank you very much. Uh, specifically, there are some uh, sessions for uh, for each day, we have so many of those sessions. But then, for today specifically, we are supposed to learn from the past this year's experience. So after this my presentation, the this past this year's will be speaking to us, and after that, we'll be getting involved with some of these this years. Then we'll be listening to an expert land manager from the GLT, and will take us through a session. Then we'll go into a self-assessment of what we have been able to learn before we now go straight into hands-on sessions that I know so many of us will be excited to be part of. Of course, what you have been doing prior to now on the MOOC is to get familiar with what the hands-on sessions of this workshop is going to be. But then at this juncture, it's going to be very, very interesting for us to meet with the partners who owns and created these tools, and then they can take us through specific things that needs to be done with their tools. Thank you very, very much. Uh, a few next that I would like to share with us, of course, I must appreciate the fact that we have been able to maintain uh, a very good environment since the start of this workshop. During the presentation of 
given the presentation of uh, uh, our FIG president, and then even during this my presentation, one of it includes remembering that we're human. So, of course, there may be some mistakes, but at the same time, we'd expect that we all are just as soon as possible. So I get to the same standards to behavior online that we follow in real life, to know where we are in the cyberspace, to respect other people's time and bandwidth, to make ourselves look good online, of course, and to acknowledge our sources, to help keep flame wars under control, to respect other people's privacy, to be humble and forgiving towards other participants' mistakes, to prepare well for online web conferencing, and then to report any technical issues, because we really want to have your participation in this workshop. So a few things that I would like to close with is, number one, try to be punctual to all of the sessions. Number two, try to participate in the booths. Number three, take notes. And then number four, make sure you are networking with someone, even while this uh, workshop is ongoing. There's an activity I would like to introduce to you. I know you would like to be part of the chat breaks. During the chat breaks, you would like to know that we are going to be dancing. Also, from wherever you are in the world, we're all going to be dancing to the same music. And then that will be interesting for us to we'll converge again and then proceed with the sessions. Thank you very, very much. I would like to say thank you to you who have been listening to me. Thank you to uh, the organizers of this workshop, of which I am only privileged to be one of them. And then thank you to uh, all of our facilitators who are putting so much work to make this workshop a success. And then finally, thank you to everybody who's going to wait till the end of this workshop and give us feedbacks the way they have. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Israel.